tonight. We celebrate the class of 2022 seniors. The coaching staff would like to recognize and thank all seniors for their hard work this season. These seniors have a lot to be proud of and have played a major role in the rebuild of the culture of the boys volleyball program. They have been successful on and off the court, and tonight we thank them and their families for all their hard work and dedication to a successful season and career. Now, the seniors. Matt Medeiros is joined by the Brockton, welcome to, you know, Durfee's little home away from home here at Bicentennial Park as we, we celebrate our seniors on their senior night. Uh, for juniors and below, you'll be up at our new school next year playing on beautiful new tennis courts. There will be eight of them, so we have, you know, everybody playing at once. But for today, we play first singles, second singles, third singles, first doubles, and when a match finishes, uh, second doubles will go on. We have some water for you guys over there. Help yourself. It's right on our bench. You can fill up your jugs. If you need medical attention, we got a med kit. If you need serious medical attention, certainly let me or your coach know, and uh, we'll, we'll get you um, looked after. The scorecards are on the, on the net. Feel free to, to turn the cards after each game if you really want, but really just after every turnover is, is all that's necessary. Say the out calls nice and loud before every point if you're serving and um, you know, make, make out calls nice and loud and, and say the score before each point. Uh, apart from that, do you guys have any questions? No? Okay, like I said, if, if you need to use the restroom, we have our own private uh, restroom over there. Just come to me for the key and uh, please close it when you finish. Uh, apart from that, I'll be announcing for Durfee. Coach, you, you announcing you have a, a player? Okay, who do, who do we got for Brockton? 
All right, from Brockton, announcing for the boxers, Christian Warren. All right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> come on up. You can come on up here so, so the mic gets you, buddy. Don't be afraid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right here next to me, announcing. All right, first singles for Durfee from Madrid, Spain, is senior Jorge Beltran. From Brockton High School, uh, junior and captain Christian Wano. All right. My All side, right. my side. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good match. Yeah. Right. Make sure you get him. Yeah. Yeah. Have a nice match. All right, I'll hit it. Second singles for Durfee, senior two-time two captain Chris Panchley. Okay. From Brockton, second singles, Clifford James. All right. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Have a nice match. Have a good match, boys. Right. Have a nice match. Yeah. Third singles for Durfee, freshman, Will Rumsey. From, Bro from Brockton, third singles, Fetson Exantos. Yeah. Good. Have a good match, boys. Have a nice match. Have a good match. First doubles for Durfee, sophomore Jack Fitzgerald and freshman Ryan Horseman. From Brockton, first dubs, Joel Noonan and Jamir Tineo. And second doubles for Durfee, junior Jesse Tamba and freshman Colin Fleet. From Brockton, second dubs, Jason Rivera and Nick White. All right, guys. Have a good match, guys. All right, try and keep the warm up, you know, five, ten minutes. You certainly got some hits in, and then go have some fun, boys. All right. Girls, great job today. Um, again, a lot of mistakes, but bats uh, were alive today that we can pull it off. And uh, I mean, if we played error free, that score wouldn't, that would be a lot more lopsided than just 14 13. I want to thank all the parents for showing up and supporting. <clears throat> JV was here supporting as well. Uh, appreciate it. Um, again, it's a big day for the seniors, and we got uh, six seniors this year leaving. Um, it's been a long, well, what they think has been a long four years, but in a couple of years they'll be like, oh, I wish I was back at Durfee like they all do. Um, so what we're going to do is I'll call, as the way, the way the posters are laid out, I'll call the girls up, um, say a little something, and uh, then the parents, once I'm done going through all the girls, uh, then if the parents want to take pictures, uh, such, or if you want to come up and give flowers, I see some flowers, we'll do that also. Uh, Nikki. Good job, kiddo. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki volunteered. We had not, nobody at JV this year. Hey, well, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't bite. I'm going to put you in my pocket. Go home. Okay, Nikki volunteered this year to go down and help JV because we didn't have any pitches down there. And, uh, and she volunteered right off the bat. She said, Coach, if you need me down there, I'll go down there and do what I got to do, which is, which is big. So, uh, a lot of respect for her, and I'm glad she made that catch out there. That was great. Good job, kiddo. <laughs> All right, let's skip that one. Uh, come on, Sarah. Sarah and Aina. That's all I can remember from Sarah. They say, you remember Sarah and Mr. Otto? Hee hee hee. Nope. Sarah, Sarah is definitely the, uh, there you go, my dear. Congratulations. Thank you. Sarah definitely, uh, I mean, she bounced around, also went down to JV to help out uh, when we needed it, which was huge. Say, so, yeah, hee hee. 
<laughs> and uh, but she, uh, I mean, also another senior could uh, she played up here at the beginning, got her hurt her hand, and then uh, and then obviously today was out there and uh, and again you know, just having them here to represent and in their senior year, you know, final game, that uh, it's a uh, it's a big plus. Good job. Thanks. Good job, guys. Thank you, thank you, little goodies. Say the yo. Come on, big mama. All right. All right. Sadie has been with us uh, for four years. She's been injured, uh, out a year. And don't forget, too, people, you know, this, this COVID stuff that we had and, and so on, I mean, that really put a damper on things, put kids behind a little bit. Uh, I mean, we had a shortened season. We had one season we were going into tryouts, and we got the kibosh right that day. So uh, it, it's, it's put a lot of stress on everyone uh, in the athletic department, all the way down to the girls. Mercedes been there with us to thick and thin even when she was hurt, showed up for every practice, showed up for every game, uh, and which is the reason why she's a captain this year, is uh, because of the leadership she's shown over the past, past few years uh, with her bat, behind the plate, and uh, and she's been, uh, you know, I was, I was contemplating on, uh, on retiring last year, but she's like, wait a minute, you ain't gonna wait for me? So I said, well, I guess one more year, but then the next girl will come up and say, how about me? And then, uh, then you're here for 50 years. <laughs> Good job. Maddie! 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 All right, as you can tell, Maddie's the tallest one on the team. She's been here also four years. First year, she got rookie of the year. She played great. She played everywhere we needed her. She pitched. She played short. She played third. She played second. She was all over the place. And again, COVID, you know, put a damper on a lot of things. And uh, we lost a few years. And now she just got back uh, in her senior year, which I'm glad she did. Uh, she's played a great second, third, short. Well, not short, but well, she played short when you you got hurt. And uh, but that, that's what we need. We need girls that can play every single position. You know, a girl says, oh, I play right field. Okay, get in line, I got five of them. You know, a girl says, I gotta play the outfield. Okay, now I got three spots to put you in. So it's so so good to have somebody that's versatile like this. And, uh, but she's been, she's been a pain in my butt, but she's been a pleasure to coach. All right, little one. What I got next? Jillian. <laughs> Good old Jillian. Let's see. I, Jillian came, she left. She came, she left. I could never keep track of her. Didn't know when she was coming back. And again, you know, with COVID, we lost that time, but I'm glad she came back in the senior year. And again, everybody had a, a hard time at the beginning. And you can see we're still having, you know, some mental mistakes. But, you know, she's definitely picked up. And, I mean, she was hitting the ball well. You know, if balls hit that way, we can almost count on it now, which is, you know, a, a big plus. But uh, another one that uh, it's been a pleasure to coach. So I got a holy gee, Ayana. Come on, mama. All right, Ayana. Me and Ayana go way back. I if I if looks could kill Ayana, would have killed me like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be, Ayana, come on in. I get that look. I'm like, okay, I'm going under the porta john. But, but, but all kidding aside, and I try to tell this to all the girls. It's not that some girls are better than other girls. It's just that some girls play more than other girls. That's all. And I asked her. I says, Ayana, it's not that you're not. You know, I'm saying you stink or anything. It's just that. What did you do with your? What, no, no, no. You're good. <laughs> I says, I says, where did you, I asked him I, the other day, I said, you, you, after the game, what do you do with your bat bag after the season's over? I, said, I put it in the closet. I said, when do you take it out? Oh, in tryouts. That's why. But to be honest, this year, this is definitely most improved. I would give her definitely most improved. And yeah, oh yeah, definitely. She's busted her butt. She's paid her price. 
she's sat the bench, she's jumped in, and I keep trying to pull her toward my side of the bench and tell her, listen, see that, this is what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. He's like, oh, I see it, because it's so much easier to try to explain something to someone when they can physically see what the other kid's doing. They're doing it right or wrong, and that's how you learn from it. But most improved, I would definitely, big mama's it. <laughs>